Yesterday, I was freaking out a little bit about what was happening. Um, I misunderstood the purpose of the trigger shots. Uh, I thought that, because I remember I was saying that I felt a little bit of cramping and I just didn't know what was going on. I was a little bit nervous about ovulating before um, getting here. Well, that's the whole point of the trigger shot. I like it got so bad yesterday where I was like cramping and like freaking out that I called one of the nurses at Win and was like, "Did I mess this up?" Especially because I was like off five minutes and all the things. And she's like, "No, five minutes isn't anything. When you take your trigger, you have an hour in either direction. Like that's your window." And I'm like, "Oh, I'm good. I'm good." She's like, it is possible that you ovulate right before you trigger, but it sounds like you're good. And that's, I'm just so afraid of like, what whatever happened last year, I'm afraid of that happening this year that um, I'm just like in my head about it. So she told me, it sounds like everything is working out. The trigger shots are to like cause ovulation in enough time so that they can go in and get the egg. So everything that I was experiencing yesterday morning, intense of like, I have not like felt that before. Um, it was just an indicator that the shots worked and I did it right and everything was good. So um, I got that. Uh, reassurance and then also I like haven't mentioned it but I've been having some oh I did mention it like I talked so long about it about the insurance so they also approved my insurance yesterday morning so that was something else that I didn't have to worry about on the way here um, so fast forward to right now um, the retrieval is at 1045 they told me that I need to be there 30 minutes early, which means I actually need to be there sooner, like 10, 15, in an hour. No water, three hours before, empty bladder, and take my my Tylenol 90 minutes before. So that's like in a few minutes. Um, I'm not gonna be put under anesthesia this time because I don't know what the technique is, but it's apparently totally different from tick typical IVF um, to where most people don't need anesthesia, which is kind of like mind blowing. So I'm going to be awake and just kind of experiencing what the process is and going to get this egg. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I need to eat a little something, light breakfast. I'm just going to have an apple and some uh, tea cookies. I'm really, really thirsty. When I woke up around six this morning, I tried to like house a whole bunch of water because um, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to drink anymore for a little while but I'm still really thirsty so yeah I don't know how long this is going to last or like how long it is but um, I'm hoping that I'm not too crampy or sore afterwards because I plan to get right back on the road and come home um, I just hope that I have good news and I have this like one egg, praying that everything goes well. 
um, trying to stay out of my head today about it and just um, do a little self-care in the sense of like watching things that I enjoy and just laying around and resting and just being joyful. Um, but after the procedure, before I get on the road, I need something to eat because I'm going to, I'm hungry now because I haven't eaten breakfast, but, um, I typically have like a pretty big breakfast here at the hotel before I go. And since I'm not having that, I'm already planning on like where I'm going to go and get food on the drive home. And I'm really excited about that too. So yeah, it's just going to be a fun day. I'm, I'm declaring that it's going to be a fun, successful day, and um, yeah, can't wait. just finished my egg retrieval and um, I don't even know what <laughs> just happened but um, they take you back to the waiting area before you go into the procedure room and you get changed and you're just um, you know, laying back, relaxing, you don't have your, your phone or anything to distract you. Um, so it's just you and your thoughts. And depending on how your process has been thus far, you're either left with nervous thoughts or happy thoughts or whatever it is. So, um, I'm laying back, trying to relax and breathing and she takes my blood pressure and surprisingly my blood pressure has been the lowest that it's been in a long time and so I'm happy about that but um, then I start hearing um, some noise like at first it was faint and I'm like oh, I don't know maybe someone singing or I don't know what I thought it was at first but that noise um, gradually got louder and um, I realized that there was another woman in, in having her procedure and she's just wailing, just crying in agony and um, just it lasts for, it seemed like forever, even though it was just a few minutes. She's just wailing and I'm immediately like, what have I gotten myself into? I should have opted for anesthesia, like this Tylenol isn't going to do anything. Um, and then so when my nurse comes back, she just asks, um, you know, to like verify my information. And I'm like, is this going to be painful? Is this going to hurt? And she's just like, oh, yeah, we'll see. Like pain is subjective. It, some people don't move at all. Some people like it really, really hurts or there's cramping. And I'm like, great. This lady in the meantime is wailing. So a few minutes later... I hear Dr. Yillian, my doctor, um, I'm behind a curtain all the while, um, talk to the nurse right in front of me and he says, um, you know, I told her she can stop any time. We already got nine eggs. I told her that she could stop, but she doesn't speak any English and, um, you know, she's just wailing in the meantime. And, um, the nurse is kind of like, oh, so sorry for, you know, that or for her pain or whatever. So then that stops and so I'm, I'm able to breathe and just kind of chill out and um, all of a sudden I can kind of see in the like sliver between curtains um, this woman like slowly walking out and they bring her and they like sit her next to me. Um, and I realized that it's the woman that just was in the procedure room wailing and she's like crying and they're bringing her water and you know just whatever and I just felt like so awful for her like she's in pain and the things that we have to fucking go through to just do something that's should be so easy so normal so natural you know she just went through whatever she went through to get these however many eggs I don't even know her business her story